and protests have also taken place right here in Baltimore. No justice, no peace, no justice, police. A short time ago, a peaceful demonstration was held. Crowds marched down Martin Luther King Boulevard and Pratt Street chanting Black Lives Matter. Organizers say that they wanted to shut down the downtown hub of the city to make a point. They wanted to make that statement about police brutality and police involved shootings. Now, no one was arrested at tonight's demonstrations, but last night was a different story. We're learning more about the four people arrested at that protest in the city. Their deaths sparked protests across the country. 32 year old Fernando Castile of Minnesota and 37 year old Alton Sterling of Louisiana. Their deaths felt by those within the Baltimore area. Friday's 200 protesters remained peaceful, but towards the end, as police asked the crowd to leave, some chose not to leave the roadway and they were arrested. 26 year old Cody Kratz of Cadenceville, 31 year old Perry Wheeler of Laurel, 25 year old Sarah Benjamin of Baltimore, and 32 year old Megan Flynn of Tacoma Park. Megan's arrest captured by a WJZ camera. It was a night showcasing a unified call for action at the heels of two men killed after encounters with police. A peaceful protest with people walking through the streets of Baltimore with a message of justice and equality. Equal treatment of all citizens, equal penalties for those doing wrong. And there will be a vigil for the fallen officers in Dallas. That is planned for Sunday in Federal Hill from 7 to 9. Organizers are meeting at the flag. And stay with WJZ for complete coverage of the ambush attack in Dallas. We will keep you updated on the investigation along with more about the victims in this tragedy.